Okay, we're going to start the taping uh, of the hull seams. I'm going to do it uh, both at the same time. I've got my, my stands with my uh, tape holders. Uh, make sure you have plenty of tape if you're going to do it. I had a couple uh, remnants of 3 inch that I rolled out uh, to see if they were long enough and they weren't so I'll use them for the stern sections and any other little places that I have. Uh, besides having your tape set up ready to go, make certain you got your cups and you got plenty of epoxy, you got some scissors, uh, you got a, uh, your uh, foam rollers for rolling out the excess into the dry spots and then you have some uh, extra ones pre-cut up. These are uh, about three inches cut out of a nine inch foam. And then uh, make certain that you have, <laughs> make certain, uh, have plenty of uh, toothbrushes on hand. Uh, I'm finding I like some of these uh, Oral-B styles because they tend to be flatter and I can get in uh, without dragging my knuckles through the, uh, the epoxy that I just put down. Uh, still, you got to be careful that you don't do that. And we'll probably change gloves once or twice. Um, so I guess uh, let's get up and we're going to do the side seams first. We'll do the bottom seam, uh, the keel seam last because I want it to uh, lay over the top of all the ones coming in. Uh, when I come into the, uh, the bow seam or any of the seams, I'm going to bob the, uh, the tapes coming in off at the center line and then the uh, two center, the two inch and three inch along the keel line, bow line, will uh, flow over the top of them. Uh, sometimes I started out, I don't know why, uh, along the keel line is like, okay, what am I going to do now when I come into the side? So on a couple boats I put down a layer of four inch uh, glass over the top uh, to hide uh, those imperfections. So we're going to going to do it right, or at least whatever the right way is is whatever the right way is. We're only building a boat, not a rocket ship to go to the Mars. So uh, let's get started. I got to mix up some epoxy, and we'll come back on a, on a setup. Okay, I'm going to start off with just a little bit of bevel in here on the glass, so I don't get too much of a, a build up into this corner here. I'm going to pre-wet out the area a little bit and I'm going to wet out along the distance and make certain I stay in focus. <laughs> yeah, make certain that I want to stay in focus here or in the frame anyway. I'm going to pre-wet this area out and give me some stickum. Have your cardboard down like we've talked before. And then just kind of gently press it in, and kind of press and move it in an arc to follow our lines. If we get a little spot that's trying to pull up, come in behind and wet it down. You can kind of goob it on a little bit this first layer, but try to keep keep it inside the, the three inch line here. Okay, let's get some more epoxy down here as we're going along. Try not to dribble between your cup and the and the job site. Ah. Don't put too much tension on it. Smooth it out to the, the end again. Okay, it started. I'm going to go back a little bit out of, out of distance here. I'm going to come back and, and give this a good wet down. Use your brush to Scoot it back on the lines and carry slack. Get a good wet out down near the end here so it doesn't start creeping on you. Put down a pretty good thick pre-layer. 
it'll come up and we'll use it again on the, when we start putting the three inch down. Okay, I'm going to have to start going uh, a longer form. If I'm going to do this in great detail, I need a cameraman to follow me along. So. Once you get it stuck in place, come along behind and put some epoxy on, on top of it. Get it down. I'm only making an ounce and a half mix cause, mix, cause, mixes because if I make bigger in the time frame that I'm working, uh, it starts getting stiff and you don't want the epoxy to get stiff on you ever. You want it to flow nice and easy. Get here. Get a good thick. And especially if your epoxy starts getting thick on you, take take that uh, that stuff and do what I'm doing now. Get ahead of yourself. Get it down, spread out. The thinner it is, the slower down it. Uh, the slower it uh, kicks in and cures. So if you find your your cup get warm, get it down and thinned out and you should be able to use it again. this glass around because it may want to take off an angle but being how it's a loose loosely woven you can kind of coax it into whatever you want to do especially if you do the uh, the bottom side first get it down and compressed in so then that will leave the extra room on the top to expand Use your brush as you're going along to kind of coax it back into the line. Look for places that want to lift. Put some epoxy on and brush them down. Sometimes you want to come in under the glass itself, like I just show you in some of those other earlier videos. 